health update. So, we have had a month. Granny started feeling weak, and she thought it was because of her heart issues that she's got a valve to have replaced. But it turns out that she didn't have any blood in her body. Her hemoglobin was down to like 6.7, I believe, or 6.4 at one point. And it turns out that she was bleeding internally. And we still don't know where she was bleeding internally. She went through 14 units of blood in two and a half weeks. And that's a lot because I think the body only holds like 7 or 8. So, she was in the hospital for, I think, a week, week and a half. No, a week. And then, somebody, I won't mention any names, but he's in the passenger seat, decides to pass out at Linda's house. So, I got a call. I was checking with the nurse, and I got a call from my sister, Linda, and she said, Dad just passed out. I just called the ambulance. They're coming to get him. So. Not just passed out. He hit his yeah, head. He fell, hit his head, hit his knee, hit his head. Yeah. Not a good scene. So the next day, I went up there. And in the hospital, mom caught the flu. The hepatitis A flu. You know, they always check for COVID. <coughs> Excuse me. And she came back with positive for hepatitis A. So, she's got the flu in the hospital. That doesn't sound right. Is on, that what it was? That's what it's, that's what Hepatitis it is like, yeah. okay. So, anyway. So, I went up there on a Wednesday. I took Thursday and Friday off. And stayed through Sunday. Well, it was kind of a good thing because... Linda and I were both there Thursday going back and forth because now we not only have one mother in the hospital but now we have a father in the hospital as well and they, thank goodness it was in the same hospital but they were on different floors dad was on five and mom was on two so we're back and forth getting him in um when I got up there Wednesday night, Dad had been in the emergency room because they're short on nurses, short on rooms. Because apparently all the COVID stuff has been delayed. I'm talking uh, elective procedures, things that people just didn't want to bother going to the hospital with. And now everybody's in the hospital, non-COVID related. And there are some still COVID, but that doesn't get into this. So, Dad's in the ER because they don't have a room and because he may have gotten a little unruly. He pulled his stuff out, so they had to monitor him closely. And started walking around the halls, right? No, he was not walking because his knee was hurt. Oh, okay. We don't know how his knee got hurt. I thought you said that he was walking around outside his room. We don't close on? Ne negative. <laughs> negative negative on that so but naked I get up there I get off of work Wednesday and I drove up there and I get up there and I go to the emergency room and I go I'm looking for my dad Ted Robinson and they go well he's not here and I go well that's great they've lost my dad turns out that they had just transferred him to his room which was on the fifth floor so that's great but they go, it's after hours. And I said, well, I need to go see him because, you know, I just got up here. And they go, okay, go to the main lobby and tell him what's going on. Tell him, you know, he just got transferred up. So I got up there and they let me go see him and everybody was cool. So Thursday, Dad and I are together. And I guess Mom and Linda, we, we switched back and forth all day. Keeping up with everything and we're trying to get Mom healthy, but she's still bleeding blood. So they decide they're going to, this is going to be a long deal. So then they decide that they're going to, you know, they already tried to do one colonoscopy and it didn't work. Because the clean out stuff didn't work, whatever. 
anyhow all day thursday we're trying to get that done she's drinking the go light stuff like it's going out of style she drank <laughs> okay don't get into two three gallons of, of gory details please yes three gallons of that go light stuff and if you've ever had a colonoscopy that stuff is not fun to drink and all the disney people if you've ever tried beverly it's worse so we got that down she goes down for a colonoscopy on Friday. She did another internal scope on her stomach. Everything was clear there. Um, the colonoscopy was not clear. Um, she was bleeding from her colon somehow internally. But he determined that it was above the colon, so it was in the um, upper intestines. And if you've ever had a problem with that, I never have. But you can't check the upper intestines. So now we're stuck. So later that day and the next morning, the colon doctor comes up and he says, we checked everything out. Everything's like motor oil up to the upper intestines and six inches beyond to into the upper intestines. Her stomach is clear. Everything's good there. So we go on Friday, and meanwhile, Friday morning about 3 a.m., my sister comes down with the flu. So now she's evacuating all orifices. The, that, that means front. Yeah, we, we got it. You don't need to tell the entire world, okay? <laughs> I'm not telling the entire world. I no, just, just made just, it clean and green, baby. Yeah, but you, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, Oh, my gosh. So now she's down for the count. Six minutes. Okay. Just get, just get, just take the big stuff and go. Well, I was about to. Okay, go. Okay. So, after the colonoscopy, after the scope, the next morning, the doctor comes up and he says, "Well, here's the deal." Okay. And I just said that when I got interrupted. So after that point, about 2 a.m., they checked her hemoglobins. They were down to 6.4, 6.5. So they gave her two units of blood on Saturday morning. That was 13 and 14 units. And all of a sudden, her hemoglobin start coming up. She stopped bleeding. Okay, stop for a second. Paula wants to go to Duncan. Okay. Okay, here, go, go. continue. Go. So we're, now we're going to Duncan. Okay, okay, so finish your story before we so get there. At this point, it is Saturday morning after the colonoscopy on Friday, at some point in time, mom has stopped bleeding. The doctors don't know why. Nobody knows why, but we're very grateful. And her hemoglobin start coming up through Saturday, all day Sunday. And I had to go home Sunday to go back to work. So we all decided that we would take my dad with me because he finally got out of the hospital Saturday afternoon. Um into the evening. This one. <laughs> Are we still doing this or what? Yes, yeah, so uh -huh. I was trying. Paula was pointing at I'm trying oh, to create at the a pop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we're at the point where we've got one Padre unit, Addyism, out of the hospital. No, that would be Madre. Mad no, that would be Padre. No, Madre is mother. Oh my God. Padre is father. Or padre no. is out of the hospital. Oh my God. It's God. <laughs> Padre is out. Oh my God. They're both out. Anyway, go ahead. Well, now they are. Oh my God. Okay, so at this point, her hemoglobins are start coming up. I had to go to Ingalls on today. Sunday morning and get Dad's new prescriptions. And we go over with Mom, and she's healthy enough now where she's actually helping me get his prescriptions ready and everything, which is a feat in itself. So. She's getting steadily better. Papa and I head out Sunday, and her hemoglobins keep coming up, keep coming up, and they're trying to figure out why she's not having any issues. She just godly stopped bleeding. So she gets out of the hospital on Wednesday at that point. Wednesday, she's fine. Thursday, she's fine. She goes to the doctor on Friday. And she's got she's got a leg problem and she's got blood clots. 
So now she's back in the hospital on Friday. She was sitting at the emergency room in a chair for 12 hours Friday, trying to get a room because she's got blood clots. Well, she's not getting any medication. She's not getting any treatment for the blood clots during that entire time. So finally she gets in a room about midnight Friday night. She's in a room in the ER, which if you've ever been that way, it's not fun. It's just a cot and a flat surface. So all weekend she was in the ER room waiting to get a room, but she's getting medication. Sunday she gets a room. So they start treating her for the blood clots, not to alleviate, but anyway, all the medical jumbo blah, blah, blah. So she gets stable, no more gaining on the blood clots, but she finally gets to come home, I think Tuesday or Wednesday. So today's Saturday, she went to the doctor yesterday to see a different doctor from her regular doctor and they give her the clean and green. She's, you know, at home, very, very weak. She's been through an emotional turmoil. Now it's on the recoup. Now Pop is here and he wants to go home because he wants to live his life. So we got to get Granny strong enough to take care of her and Pop so Pop can take care of her and Granny. Hopefully if everything goes like we're wanting it to, next weekend, which will probably be like tomorrow if this comes out on Friday, I'll be taking Pop home. Yay. I'll probably be doing two videos Pop. out of this since this is so long. <clears throat> You're seeing tomorrow? Next week. Next week. Yes. So, hopefully. Alright, it's over.